Hi, welcome back. This is Excel video 134. I'm Nate Moore. And today what we're going to do is try to start to put together how on earth I made this chart that we demonstrated last time go. So what I'm going to do today is just worry about preparing the data. Let's just get the data right and then we'll worry about getting the charts and this scroll bar and all this other stuff to go in future videos. So what I did is I copied my data and put it over here on a different page. And so what I've got is I've got the month and the year my collections and then I've got a shading column and this scroll number and what I want to do is kind of show you how this all works what I'm going to do first is make the date work right let me show you what it looks like. remember we've got J F M just the first letter of the month and the two digit year so that it would fit in this chart and down here where there's not much space the way to make that work I'm going to start here and go shift in down and take all of these and what you can do is do a custom format under date we're going to do more number formats and it'll kind of show you what this is going to look like let's go to custom and watch what happens when I do if I do MYY the first M is going to give me January for the month and then the two Y's are going to give me 05 if I come over here and do M M well let me I'll back up just so you can see it. it's 0105 now it's Jan 05 now it's January 05 five M's is the Excel code for just do the first letter of the month and then 05 we could do Y's if you wanted to put 2005 but J05 is what I want so I'm gonna format that and now this thing will take up a lot less space when I play with it the other thing I wanted to show you this is just straight up data this is just um, my collections numbers let me show you how this shading column works we've got to get the shading column to work to make the the second graph we to make this guy shade and the way I do it is a formula here and it's really not as quite as bad as it looks let me um, break this down a bit and show you how um, the pieces come together the first thing I want to talk about is this row function it's here in blue what row does is it takes the row and it just tells you what row a1 is on and if you copy this formula down this tells you what row a2 is on what row a3 is on a pretty simple little formula to give me a one when I'm on this row and and notice because I'm not starting with the very first row I've got you know my headers here and so in January I'm gonna look back to row one and in February I'm gonna look back on a2 and say alright what rows a2 on well that's on row two row three row four row five row six that's all this row functions doing this let's break down this and function in here for a minute I've got that over here and what and does is it says give me as many uh, parameters or questions if you want and if every single one of them is true I'll come back true if any of these is false I'm gonna come back and tell you it's false so what it says is and okay here's my first function row a1 well row a1 is 1 we know that because row a1 is right there 1 is 1 greater than or equal to e1 yeah 1 is greater than or equal to 1 so the first one's true. The second one is row A1, which again, we know that's 1, is 1 minus 1 less than 12. Well, yeah, 0 is less than 12, so that comes back true. And as it comes down here, there it's going to come back true, 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 true. And then now it's false. Let me drag these down so you can see what happens when it's false. When it's false, we know that the row of A13 is going to give us 13. So is 13 greater than or equal to 1? Yes, it is. Is 13 minus 1 less than 12 no 13 minus 1 is 12 and since now I've got 12 months up here what that's counting is it says hey as long as soon as I get 12 months I want to stop making this true and if my number goes up watch what happens when I make the number go up now here the question is is a1 greater than is row a1 greater than e1 well row a1 is 1 is 1 greater than or equal to 5 no so it goes false till I've got my 12 months and then it goes back to false again because over here 17 is greater than 5 but 17 minus 5 is not greater than 12 but what this piece over here is saying is I want to make sure I've had this for 12 rows and as soon as I've got 12 I want to stop because I only want 12 months worth of data in my shade that's what's going on in this formula so all all the formula does, all if does, is says if, and then this whole thing right here, if this comes back true, then tell then in this cell I want what's in B2, which is the collections number. 
if I don't get everything true, if this and doesn't ring true and I get a false like I did here or false like I did here, then give me a zero. So what's that do? It keeps these zero until as soon as we hit month five and that's where my scroll starts, then it's going gonna, it's gonna to ring true for 12 times all the way down to here. And then when my 12 times is up, it's going to go back to false again. And that's how my shade is going to keep going. See if I make this 12. Now my shade goes down and starts at 13. That's how I'm making the shade column go. And I want the shade column to keep track of these, just the 12 months I want to shade so that when I chart it, I can chart the right months both here, because those are the 12 months I'm charting, and in the shade. That's the trick to making this work. That's the trick to making the format work. Stay tuned next time. Now that we've got the data the way we want it, over here and over here, I'll show you how to make this chart. Thanks for watching.